Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord, and welcome to another episode of The Shiny Review. Today we have three cards that we need to talk about. The new Produce SSR for Yuika, a Support SSR for Madoka, and a Produce SR for Toru. Starting things off, we have Yuika. In a somewhat unexpected event, our latest SSR is Yuika. Being a bit of a quick turnaround from Yuika 4, Yuika 5 becomes an all-encompassing Antika card, borrowing design elements from their earliest SRs all the way to some of the more modern SSRs, all while playing into their original revenge playstyle. She has the means to assist visual Antika and vocal Antika with her passives depending on how much you invest into this Yuika. Yuika has the potential to make appearances on non-Antika teams thanks to her attention down abilities, so she could potentially become a power play for visual Alstromeria. Not that they really need it currently. If you want a simple spike in power for vocal Antika or a bigger spike for visual, then Yuika is a much appreciated addition to your produced collection. Her roles are attacker, focuses on revenge, has attention down, and is a buffer, and I moderately recommend pulling for Yuika. Yuika's initial appeal is a vocal 2.0 that follows up with a vocal 0.6 to 3.0, with the effect increasing the lower your mental is, meaning it is a maximum vocal 5.0 in the best case scenario. This links into a vocal 150% buff for 4 turns. At max, she gains access to a visual 2.5 appeal that's followed up by a visual 0.8 to 4.0 appeal, with the effect increasing the lower your mental is, and also applies a 10% attention down buff for 2 turns. This links into a visual 150% buff for 4 turns. Yuika's 1-star passive is a vocal visual 25% up that requires an active attention down buff. This is a 20% chance to activate twice, and it also unlocks an additional plus 50 vocal uncap. At 2 stars, she gains 2 passives. First is a vocal visual 33% up and attention 20% down. This requires your mental to be 49% or lower, and has a 30% chance to activate once. The second passive is a vocal visual 10% up that requires your mental to be 74% or lower, and has a 50% chance to activate twice. Her 3 star uncap is a plus 100 to vocal and visual, and has a 4 star uncap of plus 150 to visual. Her memory appeal once maxed out is a visual 2.0 that links into a vocal visual 2.0 that scales based on how low your mental is. For the support recommendations, Continuing where our last Antika video left off, the only major substitution is Christmas Yuika for the May, who has become a staple visual support. The introduction of She Is Sakuya helps tie the support lineup together. For the alternatives, vocal supports that benefit Yuika such as Kogane or Mamimi, depending how you feel, can assist for that style of build, while other cards like the new Madoka or Initial Fuyiko can assist in generating SP and stats. Just opt for visual or vocal depending on which works best for you. As for team recommendations, Antika 5 sure are dedicated to the idea of improving upon visual Antika, and Yuika helps by making sure that Mamimi 4 is a little more consistent at reaching max damage. I guess we can plan on Kogane 5 and Kiriko 5 to continue the visual trend. Or maybe they might even shift back towards Dance Antika, who knows. The other team, Vocal Antika, gains a potentially decent upgrade through Yuika 5. She doesn't quite synergize with a team like Yuika 4, but there's enough of an argument to be made as to her value on the team. However, losing out on the instant half-health appeal is a pretty big downside. Yuika as a center earns an A+. Since her memory appeal is practically identical to Sakuya 5's barring the small change in attribute, much of how I felt about her memory appeal stays the same with Yuika. It's perfectly serviceable as is, and as long as it continues to see support, it can serve very well as long as you build accordingly. As a unit, she earns an A. I don't find much to be particularly wrong with Yuika. While at max HP, her appeals will be weaker than Yuika 2, but it doesn't take much for her to start outscaling in damage. Yuika 5 carries a very considerable amount of utility for aspiring vocal visual teams or Antika teams looking to break the mold a little bit. Next we have our support, Madoka. Madoka's first gacha SSR support. There's a weird amount of detail to unpack in this card, but most notably she has an incredibly small amount of support skills, capping out at 4. Her scaling appeal will help visual players make their way through produce auditions, and the added bonus to mental and SP gain will help most. She marks the departure from Vocal Nocturne, perhaps giving us a glimpse of the future. Her support skills are Idol's Bond, as the most generic of them all, but has three unique support skills. Talk Mastery SP, which reaches plus 16 at level 75, Excellent Boost, which reaches plus 15 at level 75, and Radio Mastery Mental, reaching plus 10 at level 70. 
Her support appeal scales, starting at a visual 2.5 upon pulling her, works its way up to a visual 2.6 at level 60, and a visual 3.0 at level 80. Her TFD idea is visual, and her insight token for grad is vocal. Madoka's 1-star passive is a visual 30% up that requires you to be in the visual position. This is a 20% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive is an attention 35% down and requires the turn count to be 2 or earlier. This is... Her 2-star passive is attention 35% down and requires the turn count to be 2 or less. This is a 30% chance to activate twice. Her 3-star uncap is a plus 100 to visual, and her 4-star appeal is a visual 3.0 that applies a visual 50% buff until you're damaged. Her event passive is a visual 30% up that requires you to be in the visual position, and has a 10% chance to activate twice. Madoka earns an A+. Madoka is an interesting card purely for losing all typical utility for 3 incredibly buff support skills. She might become an interesting pairing with the visual Natsuha support for double excellent boost, and we may see visual Nocturne as the next focus for the unit going forward. Or perhaps you simply want the attention down passives for your visual Antika teams. The story is very interesting for this card, and the design of the skills and everything else about this card correlate to it. I moderately recommend pulling for this Madoka if you're interested in the future of Visual Knock Chill, or just want to try something out. Lastly, we have our event card, Toru. Our event PSR this time is Toru, continuing the ever-growing fountain of Toru content. Toru plays into the Madoka support we just talked about, having access to visual buffing not unlike Toru 2 and Madoka 2 before her, just to a weaker capacity. Thanks to this Toru, you can potentially build a visual knock chill that operates to some marginal power, but nothing compared to their vocal variant. That all being said, I believe that this Toru functioning like a weaker version of proper knock chill SSRs, especially limited cards, is a step in the right direction for event SRs, if their goal is to branch out team diversity without solely relying on the gacha. Will this Toru redefine knock chill? Absolutely not. But will she help ease a new team into potential existence? I think so. Her roles are buffer, and she is dodge-centric even if she cannot innately dodge. I recommend farming for this Toru. Toru's initial skill is a vocal 1.5 appeal that applies a 50% vocal buff per successful dodge. This lasts for 3 turns each and has a chance to stack up to twice, meaning you can gain a total of plus 100% vocal. This then links into a vocal 2.0 appeal. At max, she unlocks a visual 2.3 appeal that applies a similar visual 50% up per successful dodge. 3 times, 3 max, so 150% visual in the best case scenario. This links into a visual 2.0 appeal. Toru's 1-star passive is a vocal 12% up that requires your mental to be 75% or higher. This has a 40% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive is a visual 24% up that requires the turn count to be 3 or earlier. This has a 40% chance to activate once. Her 3-star uncap is a plus 50 to visual, and her memory appeal when maxed out is a visual 1.5 appeal that links into a 125% visual buff for 5 turns. For the support recommendations, Madoka is the only support that has immediate synergy with Toru due to being the only visual knockchill support currently. That being said, you will need to find reaction buffs from other sources, so you might find bringing Rookie Hinana to be a reasonable plan. The rest of the cards we've talked about in the past, so feel free to consult previous videos if you feel they're necessary. As for the team recommendations, there really isn't a whole lot of choice. With Madoka 1 as your center, you have access to a relatively powerful memory appeal, and the means to apply reaction through Hinana's event SR. Koito helps set up similar buffs to Toru, and can even link immediately with Hinana. Keep in mind that for Madoka to be useful, she's the only SSR of the group that requires 4 stars, while Koito is online as soon as you pull her. Hinana and Toru require 4 stars, but this is considerably easier due to the nature of them being farmable event SRs. Toru as a center earns about a C-. The center was so close to being genuinely powerful, she really was. If her base appeal and the link appeal were reversed, you could have had something going, with a heavy buff followed by a decent appeal, calling back to the earliest days of the game where SRs had some of the more impactful memory appeals. This memory appeal, however, is strictly whatever, so you'll have to rely on Madoka 1 as a visual center. As a unit, she earns a B. If you missed out on Toru 2 and want a non-AoE version of her, this Toru works in a pinch. She functions very similarly from a distant perspective, even if the damage numbers aren't quite there. She is completely dependent on other members of Knock Chill to set up reaction buffs, so you might find this card hard to use if you lack key Knock Chill SSRs. 
And that's just about going to do it for this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. Next time we'll be talking about whatever banner comes next, and we'll also be covering the small changes to TFE very soon. Till next time, this has been Cho, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.